Hello everyone, this is Space Elephant from the Might and Magic Duel of Champions team at Ubisoft Quebec City. You know that our base set 2 is coming really soon and it will include a new list of specific cards for this collection. But we also have a lot of new features coming for this release, such as new solo campaigns, new deck builder functionalities, new achievements, daily quests, and even more. So I met with a dev team here to know more about it. Uh, we are introducing uh, new creature types and new uh, schools of magic on the creatures. What's going to change is uh, creatures like uh, the Banshee is now a dark creature, so it, in, it now interacts with Dark Ward. For now, creature types will not be useful for Base Set 2 because there's no gameplay interacting with it, but it's going to open up a lot of doors for us. So with Base Set 2 now, we have uh, five campaigns, and uh, uh, each campaign contains five missions. Uh, each of those can be completed by the six factions and uh, once you complete a campaign you get uh, a puzzle that, uh, that's unlocked and you have to complete it uh, on the, under one turn. The new format uh, are something that define what you can put in your deck. We'll have two regular format from the start. The first one will be the open format. The open format allow you to play with uh, every existing card. The other format will be uh, the standard format. The standard format will uh, allow the player to play with the card from the last base set. The weekly format will define a special format for the tournament in this week. The daily quest is like basically achievement, but they are repeatable achievement. Every day the players log in to the game, you will have some quest to achieve. And when those quests are accomplished, you will get some reward. As the player progress, they will get promoted from recruit to squire to knight to commander and finally lord commander. The higher tier the player has, the more rewards they will get from the daily quest. Later on, players will reach competitive tiers, named the champion tiers. In order to keep their place at the top, players will have to keep fighting. Every month, the ladder will be reset so that the current player progression inside their current tier will be set back to zero. This will make it challenging for the players to reach the next tier before the next reset triggers. Finally, the matchmaking system has been tweaked to give more accurate results at all times. Well, with Base Set 2 coming, we really wanted to take the deck builder to the next level. And uh, one of the first things we wanted to do to do that was to take the filters that were on the side and only available in the deck builder and put them into a more manageable area in the top bar so that we can bring them into the infernal pit and the altar of wishes, which, let me tell you, makes things really more awesome. And at the same time, we wanted to use all this extra space and space management improvements that we did and add in the ability to filter uh, your, to sort your cards and be able to find what you're looking for so much faster than before. The new search tool, we added in this nice little text box that you can just pretty much type anything and what it will do is it'll search throughout your entire collection. For the deck builder, we really wanted it to make using formats as intuitive as possible. So what we did is you can select whichever format you're interested in at the moment and within your deck list see which decks fit within the format and also to explain to you really simply why your deck does not follow the rules of that specific format. We're bringing in a lot of new features in this uh, coming release and we want to be able to bring more features uh, in order, in other words, be more scalable so that we can add all the different game modes and features uh, that the players really want. We want to make it easier for uh, both new players and old players to, to navigate the menus quickly and efficiently. One thing is you're going to notice it's a little bit cleaner and again it's because uh, we wanted to make things scalable. But uh, one of the other things we want to do as well is to uh, leverage a lot of the cool illustrations that we have in the cards. And uh, this is to help uh, really bring that epic high fantasy lore of the world of might and magic.